Hello and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Hamid and today I'll be showing you how to add, remove or change, uh, so modify any programs that start up to add them, remove them, etc. Now, we're going to be using three different ways of doing this and three different ways shows you three different functions. First of all, we have the starter folder and then we have msconfig and then we have registry editor. Now, just go ahead and make your selection and then it'll navigate you to that selection and I'll show you the solution and if you're unsure just continue watching so let's get started uh, let's get started with the, the folder type in shell uh, colon startup and this will bring you the starter folder but for any reason it doesn't work all you do is you just click on all programs and you scroll down to S and you'll see the starter folder just click on it and it'll show you everything that's on there now you can right click on it and click open and this will bring you up to the starter folder actually navigated in this folder but you can use that if you want now I'm going to show you how to add programs to this now let's move this to the right and I have actually have a program which I like to add this program right here now first of all what I do is I just right click and I say create shortcut usually shortcut is the best way of using this because it, uh, it, it makes it a lot easier and that's done. That's it. It's added on now. But say, for example, I have a program installed that I would like to add on. Well, what I do is, same time I want to add on. And when it comes up, all you do is you just click and drag it into this folder. And that should create the shortcut. And that's pretty much it. And then you just close this folder, and that's how to add on um, programs to your starter folder. Now, how do you remove them? Well, if it's the program that you've not added onto your starter folder, it might be that it exists somewhere else. And that's just, uh, that's MS config. config. So type in MS config and press enter. This will bring up the system configuration. Now in here we have boot, so which operating system it will boot, which services it will run, and the startup programs. I wouldn't mess around with the services, but let's just uh, concentrate on the startup. Now these are all the programs that run up when I start Windows, and these are all the ones that I've actually cut off. So to remove these, all you do is simply make sure you expand this out so you know what you're doing. And what you do is, anything you don't want, you just untick it. So actually I don't want any of these, I don't even know why they're in here. Um, and just go through and make your selection. When you're done, just click apply and this will apply the changes and click OK. It'll ask you to restart your computer and you'll just say exit without restart. Or if you prefer to restart, you can go ahead and click restart. I'm going to do it without it. Now what about if it's not in MS config or in the starter folder, it might be somewhere else. So for example, for all you, if it's for all users. So in this case, you type in reg edit and press enter. Let's bring up the registry editor and you scroll all the way up and close all these. Now, if you want to do it for the current user you're logged in, you use the current user. But if you want to do it for all the users, you go on local machine. Uh, they both pretty much have the same path, so I'm going to go on the locals to show you. So you expand the local, you go into the software folder, and then you scroll down and you find the Microsoft folder. And then within the Microsoft folder, you find in the Windows folder, which should be near the bottom. And then you go on current version, which expand like this, and then you scroll down to run. Uh, which I think I've just got missed. Yeah. Run runs the program every single time your Windows starts up. Run once, only runs them once. These are usually updates. So run, you have all these programs here, and say for example, I don't want this free for projection, whatever it is. You can expand this from here and you can see where it comes from so I actually don't want this so all I do is right click and click delete and that's it change is made I don't really want to mess around with it because I'm not entirely sure what it is but everything else I actually need so all you do is just right click and delete it and that will remove it and that pretty much does it for this tutorial thank you for watching guys I'll see you guys in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe comment rate and like and don't forget you can visit my channel or you can comment down below for the next tutorial and that could be yours.
Um, so yeah, don't forget to leave a request, subscribe to my channel to keep updated, and I'll see you guys.